Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, which is modelled on this one. Um, Chris, my husband, and I went shopping recently and I bought um, some new rings uh, from Pandora and I loved the bag that they put it in and the way they closed it. So I decided I was going to remodel and make a version of it at home. Now, I haven't put the hanging um, straps on it. I've kept it just as, as a nice sort of clutch bag type that you could sit on on the worktop and clearly they need to use some better adhesive. Look at that, my bag's peeling. Outrageous. Anyway, so this is my bag with very simple stamping and it's about how the, the bag looks rather than loads of detail on it. So I'm going to move that to one side. You need a piece of cardstock that measures 8 by 11 which is 20 by 28 centimetres. Now don't worry about writing anything down, you know it's going to be there on my blog. Um, and it's just four score lines in total. So with the long side at the top, the 28 centimetre, 11 inch side at the top, you score it at four and three quarters of an inch, which is 12 centimetres, and then at six and one quarter of an inch, which is 16 centimetres. Turn it round and score it at one and a half, which is four centimetres, and at six and a half, which is 16 centimetres. Yes, that's right. That's what you do. I couldn't think for a second. I was looking at my notes going, that's not right. Okay. Did I wibble my grid paper? I did. Right, now we're going to do the stamping. And this is a brand spanking new stamp set. It's a hostess exclusive called I Like You. And this is one that you can get as a, um, if your uh, personal spend is over £150, you get £25 worth of free products or money to spend on anything you like and then it goes up in increments so spend £200 you get 30 250 you get more and so on or if you host a party and the total spend is over £150 and we have a bundle of exclusive stamp sets just for you and this is one of them and I love it and I think it's going to be replacing so very grateful for me because I love that stamp set I really did and I'm going to miss it so I've chosen two of them I've got this one and I've got this one and this is whoops soft sky cardstock so I'm going to take the matching soft sky soft sky ink when I can speak because I like the tone on tone look and I'm going to stamp which way round do I want it that way round I think I'm going to stamp down here on this side look at that how pretty is that you can see it better with the soft sky and there because you know I want my sides to go the front and the back covered. That one there. And that one there. Lovely. And that's all my stamping done. <gasps> Quick project. There we go. Fold the score lines and burnish them. My grid paper's on them. Oh, it's going walkabout today. Hold all of those. And then at this point, before you've stuck it down, line it up. You're going to get a sort of triangle shape, but you want to line it up at the top because we want to punch our hole in. And I've got the half inch circle punch. And I'm going to eyeball the middle. Look at that, bouncing punch outs. So that means that I know that when I come to do this clever closure, it's all lined up. Okay, now to trim. So with your holes on the left and the right, so horizontally, going cut up these two score lines so cut straight down the rectangle part and cut into the square so you've got a kind of a wedgy bit there so straight down the rectangle into the square and then the same there There we go. So at this point, they're identical, but determine which one you want to have as your front and back. I think it doesn't make any difference, but I will go with that as being my front. So I want to put adhesive on here, and I'm going to, what should I, what adhesive should I use? I'm going to use Fast Fuse. So, whoops, gum to that, caught it as well. There we go. There we 
ratio. So fold those bits up. If you want to stick those down, you can. I am. Might as well. So fold it round, and you, what you want to do is you want to line up this loose edge here with the scored line there. And that will get you a perfectly flat bottom. And then this one as well. And then line this loose edge up with this score line. And that will match up so that your top is perfectly aligned and so is your bottom there. Bring that one round and again line up the loose edge with the scored line. And all done and then just push your sides in. This is my front. Push your sides in and pinch them. You are going to go over two layers of cardstock but that's okay because you actually really just want it like that. And then to finish, I've got the Whisper White Organza ribbon. And the way to do this is you cut, you bring your length, you cut a length, however much you want. I'm going to go excess because I'm rubbish at tying bows and I need it. So you go through from front to back. You see that? Through from front to back. You bring it over the back and in through the front. Or in through the back of the front. Does that make sense? So it's like that. Can you see that? I've got two pieces coming through there, but I've got it looped there. And when you pull it tight, you are able to tie a bow. You could tie a knot first. I might try. I might tie a knot first. And it will stay closed. And then when you tie your bow, which isn't perfect, but it's pretty enough to do. That keeps your bag closed. How clever? Isn't that clever? Shall I trim that bit off because it's going a bit wonky? Isn't it cute? And I loved it. I loved it. I mean, you know, every girl likes to walk down the high street with a Pandora bag in hand, but I loved it. I thought that was so clever. So this is my homage to Pandora. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Good size bag, one and a half inches deep, four centimetres, and pretty good size. So what's that? Five inches, so that is uh, five, 12 and a half centimetres tall. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.